Hi guys, this video is brought to you by Outtalk.co.uk for your post, pre-match and Sheffield Wednesday discussions with fellow Wednesdayites. Hi guys and welcome to the Cardiff City Sheffield Wednesday review and this is a game where we're going to feel it off, think a little bit because Cardiff are coming off a 3-0 loss, their undefeated record has been broken by Preston, that was a very good game for Preston, Preston has been looking good to be fair and it's Neil Warnock, he always likes to get a win against us, it's just what he does, he does love trying to get one over us, he always does every time, even at the Les Sheffield United. So, the team new today is Westwood Hunt, Van Aken, Poodle, Lee, Lees, Joan, Bannon, Reach, Fletcher, Hooper. Subs are Wildmith, Rowe, Butterfield, Palmer, New Hugh, Wallace and Vicencio. So, I reckon we should do alright, but we have to be very wary with how Cardiff will play today. They will play with more fire than normal, I feel. And I know that sounds like a really stupid thing to say, because most teams should play with fire all the time and stuff, but it's just how... Um, Warnock, has. he does love to beat us, and it, I think it's the game he always look forward to playing and managing in. So let's see how we get on, and hopefully we can get all three points. So, good first half for us. We were very, very good at going forward. Uh, we had a lot of the ball made good work of it and Cardiff was sitting back a little bit and trying to get us on the counter and it's been one of the back and forth games it's been a really nice game to watch actually because it's been back and forth and a nice uh, game for to get into and you can see wh why at time Cardiff had done well this year but Peltier on on their left is getting run ragged by Adam Reach. Adam Reach is having a fantastic game with the having the ball and just going down that way. Now we do play some really good football. Now one of the things is that Warnock's always beaten us and he's always beaten us since like 1991 or something stupid. So a win here would be fantastic for us. Just had that voodoo gone. But we do make it 1-0 and it was a fantastic ball from Aken. Aken takes it from the heart from his own half into their half, plays it through to Reach, who just managed to get past his man with the ball, crosses it in, and it's Hooper who scores. That four in four games. He's on such good form at the minute, and you just hope he can keep this going and keep up this momentum, because we are starting to get the best out of Hooper at last. And it may have taken a while, but we are finally seeing the Hooper that Carl said we would see. But we are playing some really good football. They've had a couple of chances where Weff would have made the save. They had a free kick which was went through the wall, so um, Weff would be a bit annoyed that he did that. They win a corner right near the end of the half, but it came to nothing. Now, we have been a bit silly with giving away silly free kicks, I will admit. Uh, we just need to tighten up on that because if they get one of them, we could be a bit snookered. But we are playing some really good football so far and we deserve the lead. And for once, I read somewhere somebody saying we were clinical. When was the last time when we got clinical and went it in the same sentence? Been a long time. So hopefully we can carry on in the second half and get more goals and get all three points. So, that second half, now Cardiff really did come back into it, and I mean really come back into it. Whatever got said at half time woke them up, and they came at us strong. Uh, we had a good, good couple of chances. We had a chance from Fletcher with a fantastic ball from Van Aken, and he hit it wide. And it was a game where Cardiff just came straight back at us. Uh, they had a free kick that went over the bar. Uh, Van Aken was superb. Um, not the name you want to keep hearing when it's your defender, but he was superb at the back. But, sadly, we get a draw. 95th minute that they get it in. No chance for us to get the uh, reply. And it just feels like we need to learn to kill games off. We do tend to get a lead, sit back on it, and don't go to try and uh, close it off. But if we go one all or one nil down, we buck the gut to either try and get the equaliser or to go 2-1 ahead. We don't kill games off. But at the start of the game against Cardiff, I you would have taken a point. You would have taken a point off Cardiff. It just feels worth because how uh, it, they got the goal and how we played in that first half. 
Carl said it in the interview. He would have, you would have taken a point. Just feels like a bit of a disappointment right now. Uh, but it's a very good point to have. Um, we're still undefeated as from after the international break. We're still doing great. We just need to start killing games off. If we can learn to kill games off, we'll do fine. But I'd, I would have taken a point before this game. Uh, Cardiff and Neil Warnock will see it as a win in the sense that of how they got back into it. They did proper pepper our goal in the second half. But we move on. Big game next weekend. It's the derby. So it'll be interesting to see how we're doing that. Uh, first derby in over five years. So it's going to be a meaty affair, I feel. But we'll have to see how we get on next Sunday and we'll see what happens. Don't forget to go have your say. Oh, what? Don't forget to have your say at altalk.co.uk after the match.